the time has come for Uniqlo haul. Hey. I've done some shopping guys, or to be more exact, I've pillaged the Uniqlo store. If you've been watching my content for a while, you know I'm a big fan of Uniqlo. As a short guy, I find that a lot of their stuff fits me really well and their designs are on point. And today we're going over my top 10 picks from their fall winter collection. This video is not sponsored by Uniqlo actually, unfortunately, they're not noticing me guys, we gotta do something. Actually, let's do something. I want you guys to comment down below if you think Uniqlo should sponsor me and then maybe I can screenshot those, send them an email with all of you guys backing me up and make it happen. Let's make it happen, guys. This is a coordinated effort to get me a brand deal. Comment down below. All right, let's get into the haul, guys. We've got 10 items. Everything will be linked in the description. We'll start with the tops, then we'll move on to the pants and finish with the outerwear. I've got some great outerwear pieces, guys, so stay tuned till the end. First up, we have the cashmere turtleneck in off-white. I've been wanting a white turtleneck for the longest time, and I mean like two plus years long. But for some reason, I just never got one. I don't know if it's because they didn't have it in white in the previous collections maybe, which I doubt, or maybe I just procrastinated. But anyhow, this season I had to pull the trigger on this one, and I am super happy with this purchase. This is the closest thing I found to white, and to be honest, I may even like off-white better. I'm all about off-white and cream tones these days, they pair amazingly well with fall colors, and although cashmere is a little heavier on the budget than wool, I decided it's worth the investment for a piece I know I'm going to be wearing for years. It is insanely soft and comfortable on the skin and it just feels luxurious when you wear it. I know they say you're supposed to save the best for last, but this may just be my favorite purchase from the list. Can you sense the pattern? Yup, I really do have a thing for off-white. So I got this premium lamb's wool crew neck in off-white as well. It is very soft, less pricey than the cashmere variant that they have. So obviously you're not gonna get the same softness and extreme comfort that you would with cashmere, but at less than half the price, I think it's still a great option. I'm going all in on the cream tones this fall winter, but they also have eight other colorways, so you can definitely have your pick of the lot. Uniqlo updated their classic sweatshirt with a slightly wider silhouette and a drop shoulder, creating a relaxed look. I like how even though they're known for their great basics, they still incorporate slight tweaks to their core products to stay relevant to the current trends. Personally, I'm also really starting to enjoy a more relaxed silhouette in some of my outfits, so I'm a fan of this updated version and the sweatshirt in brown will be a nice addition to my gray, slightly more fitted cotton sweatshirt. On to the pants. You know I'm a big fan of the EZY trousers and this olive green variant in a relaxed fit will be a welcome addition to my wardrobe. Just like the sweatshirt, these pants are cut with a wider fit throughout the leg and they have a slight taper from the knee down. The fabric is heavier than most of the other EZY pants, which is ideal for fall winter. And although it's hard to see on video, the cotton twill has a diagonal weave, creating a really nice texture. In terms of sizing, I would recommend maybe sizing up in these because I'm usually a size XS in most clothing from Uniqlo, but I went with a size S for these. I rolled them up once here because they're a bit too long off the rack, but they shortened them for free in store, which is very likely what I'll be doing. I picked up this jersey variant of the EZY trousers in brown. They have a nice micro pattern and they actually feel softer and stretchier than the others. As you can see, they're not quite ankle length on me, but I'm actually debating whether to shorten them or not, because even though they're intended to be cropped, I kind of like the full break look on them. It's a look that's coming back on trend this year, and although it would look off with most of the other EZY trousers, the way the fabric flows with this one, it drapes really nicely on the shoe. But I think both can work, cropped or full break. Now let's move on to my favorite part, the outerwear. Put the words fluffy and fleece in the same sentence and you've got my attention. I love a good cozy jacket for fall winter and this fleece jacket is exactly that. 
I mean, come on, it evokes feelings of extreme warmth and coziness just by looking at it. I was debating between brown and gray, but once again, the earth tone color palette got the best of me. I'm super happy with this purchase, and at only 20 pounds, it was a steal. I think brown is an excellent color for outerwear, as it pairs really well not just with earth tones, but also with all the other neutrals. Blues, white, gray, and even black when done right. For item number 7, we've got this reversible bomber in a slightly oversized cut. It's a warm, rich brown on the outside and a bright, bold neon orange on the inside. I actually had no idea it was reversible until I brought it home. I just thought it was a nice, fun detail on the inside, but you can actually completely reverse it and have it be a fluorescent bomber. The reversible side is definitely a little more out there in terms of color choice, but they have some more classic colorways if you're looking for something more timeless. I kept the tag on this one because I might actually exchange it for another color. From what I've seen on their website, I think they have the same brown as this one, but then on the reversible side, it's actually a darker shade of brown, which would be a little more timeless and versatile, and probably easier to incorporate in my wardrobe. Overall though, I think it's a great piece, even with the neon orange, I think it's perfect as a statement jacket. And finally, something not in earth tones. I'm usually not big on flannel shirts. I mean, I think they look great, just not typically my style, but this particular one I really like because I think it's got a couple of things going that are different from the rest. First off, it's an oversized fit. Second, it has an open collar, whereas most flannels would be button downs. And third, the color and pattern really spoke to me. The red and black give it sort of a luxurious rocker vibe that I really like. And it looks great layered on top of a monochromatic black and white look, or simply an all black outfit like this one. I would tend to wear a turtleneck underneath in fall winter, but if it's not as cold, you can get away with a simple neutral t-shirt. At number 9, we have the comfort jacket which is essentially an unstructured blazer. I usually never buy blazers, sports jackets, and suit jackets off the rack because I just have a very hard time finding a good fit. And this is an item where you really have to nail the fit because an ill-fitting blazer is gonna show straight away and it's just not gonna look very good. So I saw this one in store, tried it on, cause you never know, I like to try everything. And to my surprise, it fit amazingly well. Everything from the shoulders, the chest, the slight taper around the waist, to even the sleeve length, it all fit just right. Definitely one of my favorite pieces from this collection, and one I'm gonna be wearing for a long time. Why did I choose black? So the three options were navy, gray, and black, and I felt like navy and gray was already played out. I mean, those are usually your go-to colors for your first and second suit. The navy blazer is incredibly popular, and the black suit is usually reserved for formal black tie events or funerals. But since this is an unstructured blazer, and it's an inherently very casual piece, I liked it better in black to kind of balance out that casualness with a more elegant, more formal color. It'll look amazing in an all black outfit with some relaxed trousers, but you can also dress it down even more with a pair of jeans. I would even go as far as using a mid-blue pair of dad jeans, but that's really something that can only be pulled off because of how casual the unstructured blazer looks. And I would not recommend this for a structured blazer. Although the overcoat is usually my go-to type of coat for fall winter, I think the Block Tech single-breasted coat will be a nice addition for those days when there's some rain in the weather forecast, but maybe I still want something less casual than a classic raincoat. This is a really versatile coat that I'll be able to wear with both the very casual outfits and the more formal outfits. It definitely wouldn't look out of place worn on top of a suit. All right, so these were my 10 favorite pieces from Uniqlo's Fall Winter Collection. All of the items mentioned will be linked in the description. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, share with a friend, subscribe if you're new here, and I wish you an amazing day, my friends. I'll see you very soon in the next video. Got a good one coming next week. Stay tuned. Peace.